This is a beehive. The two boxes stacked on top of each other contain one queen bee, up to 80,000 worker bees, and a few lazy drones. The bees build honeycomb out of wax on wood frames that can be lifted out of the hive. To split a hive, we first trap the queen in the bottom box of the hive with a screen that she is too big to get through. Then we lift off the top box. It has about half of the worker bees inside and we move it to a new location so that the bees won't try to fly back to their old queen. The new queen arrives by UPS and each one is trapped in her own little cage with a lump of sugar. The little box goes into the new hive and over the next few days, the worker bees will eat the sugar and free the queen. By the time she's free, all the worker bees have accepted her as their new queen. an extra day and you can, can tell the difference. The old package. And just do a quick scan and put in the new frames. Some of these are going to need supers a lot quicker than others. Yep, they will. And put on the lid. While the hives are in their summer locations, more boxes called supers are stacked on top. The bees store honey all summer in the supers. Usually the hives are safe and left alone, unless... The other day, the other day I, met I met a bear out in the woods. Out in the woods. Me. He looked 
looked at me. I looked at him. I looked at him. He sized up me. He sized up me. I sized up him. I sized up him. He looked at me. I looked at him. He sized up me. I sized up him. He said to me. He said to me. Why don't you run? Why don't you run? I see you ain't. I see you ain't. Here we are in Camas, actually Woodland. I'm just getting ready to work some bees here. You can see that uh, these ones over here had a lot of super stacked up on them. We're just about ready to open and see if they're full of honey or not. Okay, that's a frame. Most well, about half. Uh, you can see that that white part's the wax. Under that wax is all where the honey is. This is pretty good to show how you cap it. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Delicious. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Well, it doesn't show signs of stopping. And I've got some corn for popping The lights are turned way down low Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. As we finally kiss goodnight In late January, we load 400 hives onto a semi-truck and send them to the almond groves in California. California produces 80% of the world's almonds and over one and a half million beehives are shipped in from all over the country to pollinate the almond trees. The bees return in March ready to pollinate the Utah orchards. Semi, just got it loaded. We're just putting the net on. 